folks, welcome back to another review with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today, we're taking a look at a some expansion packs for a game that I already enjoy a lot. I play it a lot with my family, and uh, it is called Star Realms. They have come out uh, just at Essen Spiel. These new expansion packs are called the United Expansion Pack Set, and uh, each one comes with 12 cards in it. You have Assault, Command, uh, what is that? Missions and then Heroes. Uh, there's four packages, 12 cards each, 48 new cards for Star Realms. Let's get down to the table and we'll take a look. All right, so first of all, in the United Assault pack, part one of the four packs, the red pack, you're going to be getting uh, a bunch of uh, new ships and bases, and uh, it's pretty cool. The whole idea behind this I, uh, this United uh, expansion series of packs is that they can ally with two different factions. So, for example, the Trade Star and the Union Stronghold here can ally with either Blob factions or Empire factions. Uh, and so it... it, it really kind of uh, opens the door here to a lot of different possibilities as far as uh, what kind of decks you're going to be constructing throughout the course of the game. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, for example, the Trade Star here gives you uh, two gold uh, right out for purchasing power, and then uh, if you scrap it, you get uh, two attack. The Union Stronghold, uh, however, gives you three attack all the time, but if you ally it with a Blob Faction, then you get to scrap a card in the Trade Row, and then if you ally with an Empire Faction, you uh, the your target opponent discards a card and then it takes five damage for this one to uh, be knocked out put back into your uh, deployment or your discard deck it also comes with an alliance transport with allies with either the empire or the alliance uh, factions and here you can always get two gold or if you ally with the empire faction a target opponent discards a card if you ally with the alliance faction you get four health uh, added back to you. The embassy base over here draws two cards and then uh, you can discard a card. But um, this one also allows for either Empire or uh, Alliance factions to ally with it. So again, really cool abilities that are going on here. The Coalition Messenger here provides you with two gold, but if you ally either with another Machine Cult faction or an Alliance faction, uh, you can choose a card of cost five or less in your discard pile and put it on the top of your deck. Uh, the Lookout Post also allies with either Machine Cult or the Alliance factions, and it allows you to draw a card, but it's also an outpost, which is pretty cool as well. So again, you just see a lot of diversification going on. And then finally, in the United Assault Pack, you're going to be getting a Blob Bot, two copies of it, and an exchange point uh, that allies with both the Blob Factions and the Machine Cult Factions. Uh, the Blob Bot gives you five uh, attacking power, and if you ally with the Blobs, uh, it gives you two money. But if you all ally with the Machine Cult, you get to scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. Uh, and if you, it's possible for you to do both as well. Over then you have Exchange Point here that allies with both the Machine Cult and Blob Factions. Always gives you two combat, but if you ally with either of these two guys, you can scrap a card in your hand, discard pile, or the trade row. You can choose which one out of the three. Uh, so really cool things that are going on here. It also comes with a little card that... Uh, uh, explains how all the different factions work. Uh, so pretty neat little thing here. Moving on to the yellow command pack of the United Expansion Pack series, you're going to be getting a Coalition Freighter, uh, which allies with either Alliance or Machine Cult factions. It always gives you three money, but uh, you, if you ally with Alliance, you get to put the next ship you acquire this turn on top of your deck rather than having it go to your discard pile. And then the Machine Cult Alliance allows you to scrap a card in your hand or discard pile. The Coalition Fortress, uh, again, allies with either the Machine Cult or the Alliance. It gives you two gold always. And if you ally with one of those two, it also gives you either two combat or three health. It's also an outpost, so people have to attack that first before they can attack anything else uh, on your side of the table. So again, uh, going forward with this, with this whole United Allies thing, it's really neat. 
You also get two Alliance Frigates and an Alliance Landing. The Landing gives you two gold always, but if you ally with either the Empire or the Alliance factions, you get two combat, and it's also an outpost. Here, uh, the F Alliance Frigate always gives you four combat. If you ally with an Empire faction, it gives you three more combat, and if you ally with the Alliance faction, it's five health. So just really neat things that's going on. You also get two Assault Pods that ally with either the Blob or the Empire factions. They give you three combat each, and if you ally with either of those two, you also get to draw a card. Unity Station allows you to always scrap a card in your hand or discard pile, and then it always... And <laughs> Unity Station uh, makes you scrap a card in your hand or discard pile, and then it also says you may also scrap a card in the trade row, and if you ally with one of the Blob or Machine Cult factions, you also get four combat, and it's an Outpost 6. So, uh... Um, a lot of cool things that are going on here. There's a lot of uh, hand manipulation in this in this pack, I think. So uh, let's continue. And then finally, you get two Unity Fighters that uh, always give you the ability of three combat, and then you also get to scrap a card in the trade row if you would like to. It also has a scrap ability here of uh, you can scrap a card in your hand or discard pile as well. Uh, then you also get the Union Cluster, which, and again, uh, these two guys ally with the Blob Machine Cult. This guy allies with the uh, Blob and Empire uh, uh, factions. So you have four combat, and then if you ally with either of those two, you also get to draw a card. Um, uh, and again, you get another one of these guys uh, to tell you how all of those different factions work together. And then in the green United Missions pack, you're going to be getting 12 different missions cards. Now, what happened with these things is that at the beginning of the game, you would deal out three, uh, at least three cards of mission cards to each player. Uh, and then those three mission cards are going to be things that they're going to try to accomplish during the course of the game. And if they accomplish all three of their missions, they have won the game. Doesn't matter how many health they have or anything like that. If they accomplish three of those missions, then they win. Uh, so you get actually 12. This is the first six. And then these are the other six that you get. So uh, the fact that they come with 12, you can uh, deal three out to each player up to a four player game. Or uh, they also have a variant in there where you can, in, in a two player game, for example, you can deal five out to each player and then they get to choose which three they keep. So uh, a lot of cool diversity going on here. Some of these here, for example, you play a trade federation ship while you have a trade federation base in play. It gives you 10 health. Here, if you play a machine cult while you have a Machine Cult base in play. You can reveal top three cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand, one of them into your discard pile, and one of them back on top of the deck. So there's a lot of different things that are going on here. Uh, so I really like this, this part of it. I love the fact of having uh, more things to shoot for rather than just eliminating your opponent. Really like that. Then you also have the Heroes uh, pack, the blue Heroes pack from the United Series. And uh, this is basically, um, these cards would all go into the market deck so that then when they come up, they can be purchased. And when they're purchased, they're put into play immediately. They don't go to your discard pile. And uh, basically what this does is it gives you a, an ability uh, that you can always use on your turn. So basically when you uh, use them, uh, they don't go to your discard pile. They stay out in play. You can only use them once per turn, of course, but uh, they, they never go back into your discard pile. But they do have a scrap ability, which means that if you want to use that scrap ability, then they would go to the scrap uh, pile uh, and then they would no longer be part of your um, armada or what have you. Uh, but another thing that it also does is that it, they do provide alliance uh, markers within their primary ability box, which means that it, when they come into play, immediately this takes effect, which means, for example, Commodore Zhang here uh, will give an Empire Faction alliance and four combat, and then the target opponent has to discard a card immediately. Uh, and then if you want to scrap it, then you can draw another card. Uh, so this is kind of... Uh, uh, these are kind of like the champions in uh, Hero Realms where you uh, get a, an, an ability that you can use once on your turn and every turn until either they are scrapped. Um, until they are scrapped, rather. So, uh, really cool, interesting uh, idea here for having these guys go into uh, your... Um, 
a market deck and then people have the opportunity to purchase them on their turn. I really like this as well. And then finally, just as kind of an add-on here, uh, I also was able to pick up a copy of the uh, Promo Pack 1 at Essen, and this gives you a bunch of the different promo cards that they've already come out with earlier um, in for Star Realms, but they have alternate artwork on it, so uh, that's pretty cool as well uh, that these are being made available on a wide scale basis. Um, and uh, so there's a lot of things that are going on here breeding sites and uh, Fortress Oblivion, you get two of those, um, and then you also get a Mercenary Garrison, uh, Starbase Omega, Star Market, two of those, and an Ark. So just a lot of cool stuff that's going on there. Let's put this down here so we can see it. Um, just a lot, really cool that they made these things available with different artwork on it so that uh, those ones that they released earlier are still, you know, kind of, I guess you could call them collectors or whatever. They just have, still have a specialness to them, but these are still available and uh, come in that promo pack one. So all together, pretty cool. I was also able to pick up at Essen uh, these guys right here, which are really cool replacements for uh, the uh, counting cards that come in the original uh, set. So if you have 80 plus, well, you're really doing good actually at that point. But uh, if you start with, you know, 50, uh, hit points and then you start clicking down from there, go down to 49, 48, 47, that type of thing. So these are pretty neat as well, also available. Uh, so let's get back up top. So that is the United Expansion Pack series uh, for Star Realms. And I really think that this is a great expansion uh, for the game. I really enjoy the game anyway. That's not going to change. However, I like how they've added a lot of uh, diversi diversification to the game where they have changed it up a little bit, uh, provided new means for victory, a lot of cool things. I mean, with the Assault Pack, you can uh, gives you a lot more purchasing power so that you can get some of those bigger ships into your uh, your, your deck and, and be able to attack your opponent with it. Uh, the uh, Command deck is, is all about uh, kind of uh, manipulating your hand and, and getting your uh, deck kind of cleared out so that your more powerful cards will hit harder and faster. Uh, the missions deck is that really cool idea of adding another way for victory, of, of, of getting all three of your mission cards to fire during the course of the game. And if you do that first, you win instead of having to knock out your opponent. Really like that. And then the heroes gives you another thing that you can do. I would have liked probably to have them... I was hoping, I'll put it this, I'll put it this way. I was hoping that the hero pack would be more like what Hero Realms is doing with the different um character packs that they have out there where you're able to have your own starting hand. I really like that about Hero Realms. But this is cool as well because it gives you something like those champions do in Hero Realms. It gives you something that's always going to happen on your turn until you scrap it when you, you feel like you need to or what have you. So I really like the character packs as well. The promo packs is really cool that they are putting all of those different promos out there and making them available still. Um, and then the new the new uh, counting cards that are very similar to the ones we saw in Hero Realms uh, last week. Just, they're, they're hitting this out of the park. They're really uh, getting everything that they possibly can out of this game, but they're also making it really cool for us, the consumers, the players, uh, that really enhances the game. And that's what I like about this expansion. It really does enhance your experience uh, in playing Star Realms. I like the different uh, factions being able to ally with each other uh, and just having those really powerful combos come up. So I, all in all, this is a great expansion pack for uh, me. I really enjoyed it. Two thumbs up for the United I Expansion Pack series for Star Realms. We'll see you guys on the flip side.